guys so i finally have this look up for you guys and i'm first going to start off with the huda beauty rose gold palette and i'm grabbing the shade sandalwood and henna and i'm just buffing this into my crease and before i did this i already had my base which was concealer and a um, color it's actually bay that i set with now i'm going in with cocoa and i'm deepening that crease so you're kind of creating your deep crease cut crease kind of thing but you don't have to be neat just make sure that the upper part of the crease is neat but underneath we'll carve it out with concealer um i also went with in with the black shade in the huda beauty palette and i'm just deepening it the crease thing i'm sorry i'm so bad at voiceovers that's why i kind of stopped doing them um but yeah, I'm just kind of deepening it as you can see here. I took a really tiny brush. Then I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. And as you can see, I'm going to really carve out the crease. This is like magic when you're doing a cut crease. Um, it might be hard in the beginning, but if you just practice a bit, it'll be fine. I, I did practice a lot to do the cut crease. So um, once you get a hang of it, you'll be totally fine. It'll look amazing. Um, the tip I would give is to use a really really tiny brush though I would say like a really thin flat precise brush that really really helps and after that I did go in with 24k I think that's, yeah 24k which is like a nice bright gold and this I'm gonna spray with some Smashbox primer water on a brush and I'm just gonna pack that all over where we put the concealer I find that the textured shadows do work well with a finger and also if you wet it on a brush but once you start packing and you're patient with it it actually comes out really well and really pretty um it's just that some people got a bit frustrated that you have to use your finger or a wet or you have to wet it but most people do that anyways with lid colors um now i'm using the black shade again and i'm just deepening the crease and i use this super tiny pencil brush i um, basically use most of the amazon brush sets that i got recently um, i'll link the video in the info box if you guys want to check that video out where i talk about all the cheap amazon brush sets that i got that are amazing now i'm going in with the nyx matte gel not gel liquid eyeliner and i'm just creating a nice flick wing kind of thing and i also did go in with some uh, wipe makeup wipe which you'll see later on to clean it up for lashes i am using the isla glamour lashes uh, which was like with vegas nay and i'm just popping those on and then as you can see here i am going with the makeup wipe just to really clean up that edge and it actually makes it look really neat and super like cut and clean then i'm going in with my mac nc45 concealer just to cancel out the pigmentation around my mouth and look how it takes it away instantly look at it this concealer is good but it does have a tendency to separate sometimes with some foundations um now i'm going in with the nyx total control foundation in caramel i have been absolutely loving this foundation for some reason like I, I just really love it like it makes my skin look really good and you don't even need to use as much as i did i today i'm actually wearing it and i just use one drop on my che cheeks and on my forehead my nose and my uh, chin and that covered my whole face really nicely but i'm just blending all of that with my damp beauty blender and then i went in with my retouching wand in uh, i think it's medium and this is by bobby brown this is really good under the eyes but it does kind of crease a bit so you definitely have to do a bit of baking with it and again i'm just blending that with my damp beauty blender and i am gonna also um blend it on my forehead the bridge of my nose and my chin just to kind of highlight those areas and then to set that in i'm going to use the kat von d loose setting powder in translucent and i'm using my damp beauty blender just to really bake underneath the eyes the bridge of my nose my forehead and my chin as well then i'm going in with some maybelline matte and poreless powder in 250 and i'm just going to use this to set my entire face i also brushed off the baking powder like literally two seconds later and then i kind of touched in with the powder again with the maybelline powder just to kind of make everything blend together and make not make it look too white underneath the eyes and i've been really liking this powder the kat von d one it's actually really good and the maybelline one actually now i'm going in with some bronzer i'm using the nyx matte bronzer in deep and i'm just going to add some color to my face and kind of contour with it as well because it's not too orange it's actually kind of like a cool brown 
The brush that I'm using here is the MAC 135 brush which I've really been liking to bronze my face with. Then I am using the excess powder that I had on the sponge to kind of carve out underneath the bronzer just to clean it up and you can just brush it all away. Now I'm going in with some of this pink colour right here. I forgot the name but everything will be linked in the info box and written as well but I'm just using that colour as a blush and I've been really really liking it. Then I went in with the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette in Golden Sands and I just used Tahiti on my cheeks and my temples, the bridge of my nose and my chin as well. And then just to make everything really melt together finally and just like look effortless I just always go in with a makeup spray and today I'm using the Smashbox Primer Water it, and I'm just going to spray that all over my face. I was going to say in what shade but it's just a primer water. Then I'm going in with this Urban Decay black eyeliner which I've been really enjoying lately and I'm just going to really smoke out my lower lash line. I then went in with uh, the Coco shade again just to smoke that under my lash on my lash line actually and then I went really really close to my waterline with the black colour from the Huda Beauty palette with a super tiny brush that we use to define the crease a bit more and then I also went with 24k in the inner tear duct area lash line area now on to lips oh I did also put some mascara as well but onto lips I'm using the cork lip pencil from MAC I really really recommend this lip pencil it's so good then I'm using Morel Cosmetics lipstick in Angela's Angel which is kind of a matte finish but I want it to be even more matte so I just put some powder on top which was the Kat Von D loose powder um, and this lipstick actually gives like a tingly film to plump the lips which is really nice but the colour is really stunning so I thought I'll wear this with this look I also did touch up with some lip pencil and I think that's it but look how like the powder will change the way the lipstick look it will really make your lips look so plump and like really full and super matte and it actually makes it last so much longer but yeah that's the end of this look guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and for wanting to see this tutorial i appreciate it so much give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i will see you next time bye